Welcome to my channel and this is a second video dedicated to mix blend mode effect. Uh, the first one I posted some time ago and uh, the solution there was a little bit complicated so I found out how to make it much easier and I'll show you how to do that uh, in this video. So we're going to be working with Cargo Collective and I'll show you how to uh, apply this mix blend mode effect, the color difference effect for the whole pinned page. So let's go to cargo and here is the structure. So I have a header which is pinned. Um, yeah, let me show you uh, pin settings. Yeah, so it's fixed and uh, yeah, it pinned to the top. It doesn't matter actually top or bottom. So yeah, uh, that's how it works. And this is my structure of the page itself. And uh, here you need to um, check two things. First of all, your text is supposed to be white. This is important, otherwise you won't see uh, any diff color difference. And the second thing is that your color of this page should be transparent. So make sure that this page has no color. Okay, it's ready. Then uh, you need to copy this page ID. How to do that? Go to the page and you will see something like that. So this is your page ID. Copy uh, this number and then go to design open your CSS editor and uh, here we're going to be uh, applying this uh, mixed blend mode effect to uh, local uh, style for this page. So you need to type local style equals uh, the number you've just copied and inside curly braces you need to say mixed blend mode and the right value. In our case, it's gonna be difference. So you can see now that it started working immediately, uh, but sometimes if you have overlapping issues, let's say uh, if some elements are placed above your text, you can also add that index. You can make it purposely uh, too large. So that's why uh, that's how you can prevent, uh, prevent this text uh, from going down. Yeah, and that's all you need to do. And also you can apply this effect not to, to only one page, but you can also create, let's say, um, any page which uh, pinned to the bottom. And to add it, uh, this page um, to this rule, you need to uh, copy this part, uh, add comma and paste it here. So you can just, uh, yeah, list all these pages separated by comma. Not that you don't have any comma here. So the last page has no comma at the end. And yeah, you just need to change uh, this number to the right number. This is like your page ID and that's all. Thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tutorials about Cargo Collective. Goodbye.